Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest X. And today, I'm actually going to do a couple of little things, a couple of quick things. As you can see, I'm just sitting here, just cruising, just relaxing. Um, there's a few things I wanted to show you guys. I got a couple of these, a couple of tickets, so that's cool. A that I don't need. So, um, Cranberry actually sent me a message and told me where I need to go. Uh, but before I do that, what was the other thing I was going to look to do? Oh yeah, I think I'm going to go and get a larger bag. Because, as you can tell, I'm running out of space all the time. And what it does is it gives you another 10 items that you can hold. So Cranberry actually just did a video herself on this, but I figure, well, since I'm going to be playing the game anyways, I might as well do so myself. So we're going to start by going down there. I'm just going to grab my my map. And here we go. As I'm running into the door. <clears throat> Excuse me. This cold will not let up. And I'm sitting far away from the mic, so hopefully you guys aren't going deaf, and I don't think you will. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to very quickly go ahead and do that uh, do that quest. And it is the one right here. And it shouldn't take too, too long. And I guess next week we'll go ahead and tackle the main quest that uh, you're all waiting for, which is acquiring the last emblem that I need because I have I think I have five of six now all right let's go uh, okay teleport me outside let's go oh and you should be warned as you can see a lot of lag uh, there's been a lot, a lot of lag as of late, and I don't really know why. I uh, switched VPNs, at least one of the servers, because it was so bad that I couldn't even play. Alright, so, I just watched this this morning. Cranberry put it up. You guys are probably going to see this like two months after she posted her video. But that's okay. I'm not trying to steal views from her. I'm just trying to play the game. Oh, and I just thought, I don't even have... I'll have to go to a bar here because I don't even have a team. As you can see, it's still really laggy. Yeah, I just realized I don't have a team. Alright, so we talked to this little boy. And he's going to want some items. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and get those items for him. And you know how uh, Steven said that he was going to send me that package? Well, for whatever reason, the uh, package was supposed to arrive today, but it says they couldn't get to my house because of a closed road. So... I honestly have no idea what the hell they're talking about, considering there's no no roads around me that are closed. So yeah, I have no idea what the hell is going on with that. Okay, anyway, so where's the pub? It says that it's down here. I'm actually going to that uh, exit on the right there. We're taking the east exit. Okay, so where is the inn? Wish I could just jump down there, but anyway, whatever. Oh, by the way, I uh, got this awesome, awesome uh, move. Check this out. You ready? That's all sorts of awesome. Love it. And that was an award for participating in one of the events or or something like that. I don't even recall. There's a lot of gestures in this game. They're bloody hilarious, some of them. 
Okay, so where is she? Right here. Do 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 do. Gonna turn my friends on. Go to search. Take cranberry. I don't care what she is right now. It's worth it. Cause she's super strong, so she'll make really short work of everyone. Alright, get a warrior and a priest and we'll be good to go. There we go. Yep, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not going to use my Genki Ball because, well, there's no real point <clears throat> considering... Um, whoops. There's no real point considering where we're going. I mean, we're going to, like, this area right here, so... Just at, like, the beginning, so the enemy should not be that strong. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, now we want to go back up and around. Up and around! start by going over here. Oh, they're letting me know that... Uh, actually, I don't know what they're letting me know. Most likely that the server will be closing in an hour. But that's okay. This shouldn't take that long to do. Alrighty. Okay, so here we go. What we're doing is we're looking for these uh, blue guys. They're usually around here. You, they, you gotta follow like the road a bit. Forget what they're actually called, the enemies, but whatever. They're those guys right here. Boom. And no matter what Cranberry... Oh, she's only level 66 in uh, whatever class this is that she's... Oh, wow. These guys are actually quite strong. Alright. That's nothing. Do, 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 do. And that's not them either. Hmm. You'll know you got it because there's a dialogue box that opens up afterwards. Basically saying, hey, you did it! You're amazing! Where are you guys? Oh, there's another one. Now, you could play this for five hours, or you could play it for ten minutes. That's the thing with random drops, right? You never know when the item will actually show up. Any around here? Ooh, thought I saw one. Guess not. So anyways, yeah, that package that Steven uh, sent me, it looks like it's never, ever, ever going to, uh, going to arrive. Especially if the road is closed. That royally sucks. I have a feeling I know what they're talking about. I think it's down in the industrial park, which is where Purelator is located. I have a feeling that maybe the main service road or wherever it is is uh, closed so that's that but they should still be able to redirect the packages that doesn't make any sense to me anyway most likely by the time you get well not get this but by the time you watch this video you will uh, you will have already seen the unboxing video and everything like that because there's no way it could take longer than a damn month 
Here's, here we go. Come on, man. Drop this thing that I need. Stop being a son of a bee. Nice. Because I could really use this bag, let me tell you. I don't want to veer off too much because I'm not sure if the enemy will be, like, deeper down in the area. Is that one? No, that's one of those googly guys. Yeah, they're all around, okay. Ooh, what's over here? You gotta wait like half an hour, I think, too, to collect it. So what I was thinking of doing, like real world time, so what I think I'm gonna do is we hand this in and then I can most likely go and tackle something else, like the, uh, the other thing I wanted to do with those tickets, to hand the tickets in. Oh, here's one. Here we go. Oh, here's a couple. Perfect. Let's get all these guys. Oh, there's a whole bunch. Okay. Hopefully we can down all three of these guys. And then we'll see what happens. Getting nervous here with that. They keep... If the server closes, it's all good. I'll continue it a different day. There we go. Did it. Okay. So I got the item I needed. So now we can just head back over here and we go into the other area. It is possible that uh, the time is off and that it's currently, it's 1.25 for me, but it could be 2.30. And if it is 2.30, that's what they're warning me. And if that's the case, then obviously I'll continue this later on. And we'll know in, in not very long from now, we'll know whether or not uh, the server is going to close. And if it does, well, that's all good. Like I say, we'll just continue. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is you want to go to that southwestern uh, exit and fight some more enemies, and that's that. It should tell me... Can I, like, jump off this? You can! Awesome! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually, according to what I'm looking at here, yeah, I do have to go over here and then over. Because that warning should pop up, like, every minute now. And I, I'm positive that's what's gonna happen. But, I still want to see if I can get this done. Okay, so now what we're looking for are those little mage guys straight ahead. Because, you see, if I could do this in the next few minutes, if I get lucky and it drops and I run back to town, I could theoretically get this done right now, and then as soon as the server comes back, I can go ahead and capture uh, the new bag, which would be phenomenal. Come on. But I've got three minutes, so I really doubt it, unless this guy drops the uh, item for me. Nothing. Yeah, that's that. The server is gonna close. Cause you notice the guy is gone. 
I am positive that's what that message is saying. Because I don't see anyone around here either. But whatever, like I say, no harm, no foul. And if I am wrong, well, hey, guess what? Awesome. They do uh, maintenance at an interesting time here. Come on. Look at how much I'm lagging. Ha! Hey, perfect, we did it. Do you guys think I can make it back if it is a server shutdown? I will be very shocked. Because I think I got like something like 30 seconds or so. Let's see. It's a little far, I don't think I'll be able to make it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, because I'm showing that it's now 2.30, not 2.30, 1.30 my time, so... Pretty positive. If it is a server shutdown, it's already in effect, because I don't see anyone around. But we'll know in a minute. If I could just hand this in. So I gotta come back in 30 minutes. Alright, <clears throat> well, 30 minutes, let's see what happens, if the server actually goes off or not. Uh, where's the train here? Pretty sure this was going to shut down, but may maybe not. Anyway, okay, we'll just keep going. teleportation thing was. So we'll go the long way. And now for this, this is to hand in a reward. We can either either get uh, three gestures, access to a metal slime uh, labyrinth where I could bring a friend, or uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, uh, a new skin for my mount. Or the dollar board, or whatever it's called. Okay, so he said... This one. Okay. Let's hope I pick the right village. Okay, now she told me I'm looking for a clown-like NPC near the circular cake-like shaped building. 
over here, obviously. Maybe. Hmm. A clown NPC? Hmm. Huh. I'm not sure which one. Hold on. First, there's a clown like NPC near the. Well, near could mean a lot of different things. Oh, this is the stuff I have in my bank. Interesting. That guy looks like a wizard. Okay, well, I'm gonna go around here. I'm just gonna... I mean, that's gotta be the building that she was referencing. There's all these jester uh, guys. Can't possibly be this guy. These are just regular dudes. Yeah, no. I, ha I th thought it was the guy... ...that was on the ball there. Oh, I don't see anyone. Oh, there we go guys, server is down, so I'll be back. Hey guys, I'm back, and well, I'm gonna lose all my NPCs right now. Uh, because it was another day. Uh, I kind of screwed up, I didn't realize. The NPC that I spoke to with the hat there, that was the NPC I was supposed to. They weren't, it wasn't my bank or something like that, like I said. I feel like a nooblet. I forget where they were. Here, here he is. This little guy down here, because... Check it out. When you talk to this NPC, pay really close attention. Do you see here? This is saying five of six. It's telling you what, um, what they have available and how many of the tickets I have. So I have six tickets and everything here requires these six tickets. And I don't have enough tickets for these, whatever tickets that is. So uh, there's a lot of stuff here. These are three different gestures that um, Cranberry was telling me about. It's like rock, paper, scissors, so it's the three gestures. I have no idea what this is. Oh, that's the gold, uh, sorry, the Metal Slime Labyrinth ticket. That is going to be a, uh, uh, a new mount. That's another... Yeah, these are all different tickets for different things. There's another Metal Slime thingy. And that is another mount. So that one I could actually buy. And that's another mount. And that's another metal slime ticket thingy. Okay. It's a metal labyrinth, I think is what it's called. So I have the choice between these three. Um, not these three. I have, I have the choice of a couple of things that I can get. So if I get this mount, because Cranberry already got the, uh, the gestures, so I'm going to go ahead and take this. Okay, now I have one. And that's pretty much all I can get, so I'll go ahead and take this. Okay, so that's it. And I went slow enough so someone else can take a look. Now, um, 
What we're going to do is I'm going to head back to the train so that we can go back to the Weddy area and I can go ahead and get finish off that other uh, little quest there and get the larger bag and then we're going to go to the Dwarf Town uh, in order to use the new uh, thing we just got the new, well, mount if you want to call it that see here? Oh crap, that's not at all what I thought. Okay. Yeah, this is still the same thing. Okay. Anyway, um... Yeah, so you gotta go... Basically, the way this works, my understanding anyway, is you have to go out um, and you have to go to the dwarf who will basically build this for you and then you can set it. I'm gonna put a few things in the uh, in the bank just so that I can figure out what the hell these things are later on because for example you guys see this, what is this? I open this And... Oh, we got some lag. Level 30. Okay, anyway, whatever, no idea. So, where did I say we're going? We're going back to the Weddy area, and I should be able to finish that now. And then we'll go to the Dwarf Town. And then, um... And then that's it. This It shouldn't be the longest video ever. I don't know which guy I have to talk to. Apparently there's someone near the uh, inn. Cranberry was saying if uh, she remembers correctly. So when I first started back here, this was at around 22 minutes or so. So it'll probably be like around a 40 minute video. And that that's cool. That's good. And then next week we'll continue and finish off the emblems, but I thought, you know, why not? These are some cool things. Okay, uh, where am I going? Going over here. And then I'll go off camera and do some more blacksmithing stuff. Because blacksmithing rules! I got all those retro games from Steven today. So I've got a lot of content. I actually just wrote down 10 reviews that I'm going to be tackling. There you go, guys. Done. Clear. Excellent. Now, this should be automatic. Well, I guess it's only because it's one of... Well, I don't know. I'm supposed to be able to hold... Three different th things. See, I don't know. That's the one for the slime. I'm not sure how these work. Anyway, it must have worked. I don't see that last option anymore, so... Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So now we'll go to the dwarf area, and we'll see what we can do there. And how much money do I have? 3,000, that's fine. Uh, and the teleportation thing... Ah, uh, it sucks. You can't go back. Oh, well. So you gotta do the long way around. So anyways, yeah, he um, sent me every single main Sega system. Not any of the add-ons, so that would include the Master System, the Genesis, the Saturn, and the Dreamcast, and then a bunch of games for everything. His Master System collection in particular was quite impressive uh, for a starter collection. Really, really impressive. So combined with a few of the games that I found uh, from my storage, uh, we've got quite a lot of stuff that I will be able to tackle. And then there's, I'm going to keep going with my Saturn stuff still focusing on the 2D games for the time being and then of course there's Dragon Quest so yeah 
Love me my Dragon Quest. Pretty much the only modern game I'm playing right now. Okay, so this might not go... Well, it's not that it might not go well. It's more... I don't really know where I'm going. So, um, you just have to keep that in mind. Like, if I can find the dwarf guy, great. If I can't, well, yeah, then I'm kind of screwed. Alright, so he said... Um, why do I always do that? She said that the guy I'm looking for is by the inn. Oh, got a little lag here. Uh, where's the inn? The inn is over here. You know what? I'm going to talk to everyone. How about that? Just to be safe. Because it definitely wouldn't be like a shop. I just wanna, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Oh, you have a pointy hat too, eh? Oh boy, there's people with stuff everywhere, eh? Well, whatever tickets or whatever it is, I don't have any of these, sorry. Oh, what did he see? Sure. What the hell just happened? Obviously pick the right one. Oh, so that's the that's the new one that I got. And I guess he can customize this. Oh no, he can customize that. Okay. Cute. Whoops. What? Ten? Oh, I don't have enough supplies of whatever it is. Someone is calling, so let me pause everything. All right, here I am. Okay, so let's see if this actually worked or not. Oh yeah, it worked. You'll notice that um, I no longer have that um, that mount that's locked or whatever. Okay, so that was the dude we wanted to see. Now where I want to go is over here. I want to just go outside and test this thing. That's cool that the dude can customize your mount. I figured I, I would get a different mount. What the hell, right? Why not? Just to try it out. Oops. I know most people are probably going to get gestures just because they're more fun. But I figure I will be a little bit different. So that's cool. So that was pretty much everything I wanted to do for this video. Not the longest one, that's for sure, but that's okay. So let's see, did I, s I don't think it's switched. Oh, it is. It's automatically switched. Cool. So there you go. This is my goofy little vehicle now. Whee! So there we go. Cool. Wondering what I'm doing, I'm just, I don't know, I found the camera looked like it was like right up her butt there. 
All right, cool. So that's that. Now, um, let me not waste gas. So Cranberry was saying if I wanted to change my... Um, my vehicle was more or less the exact same thing as this. Except that you go... No, that's gestures again. These are both gestures. Hmm. Anyway, doesn't matter. I was able to customize the uh, vehicle as I wanted. And now I'm going to head back to town because this is pretty much what I wanted to do. So that's going to be that. Now off camera I'll do some more um, blacksmithing just so I can get some cash. But that's it. So as of right now, that's what I wanted to show you guys. So you know what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do this. Yeah! So see you all later. I'll see you next week. Thanks for checking the video out.